This is our Between the Cracks segment. This is about people who have slipped between the cracks of society. Now, a lot of them are sad, but not all. Some of the episodes we hope to do in the future will be about people that have slipped between the cracks because they, uh, well, let's just say they don't quite fit into what's considered the norm. But they may be very prosperous. They may have a great life, but they just prefer not to participate. And uh, in this day and age, maybe with online and everything else and social interactions being what they are, it's a lot easier to slip between the cracks. But today's episode is about people who have unfortunately slipped between the cracks. There are people living in different places around the country that are tent cities, which harken back to the days of the Great Depression. Why they call it great, I have no idea. But the end result is that people lose their jobs, lose their homes, and they band together in these communities because the human spirit seems to be to band together at some point for the most part. So they get together in these little places and they put up what they can to live in these tents. And some of them even get pretty elaborate, as you'll see in some of these photos in just a minute. Now, these uh, photos are from a Fox News website uh, story they did. And it's a tent city located in New Jersey. And as you'll see by the photos, like I said, there's pretty intricate stuff. Uh, They've gone a long ways towards making things better. So let's take a look at some of the photos now. There are a lot of these places springing up around the country. For many of these people, it isn't about alcohol or drugs or being too lazy to get a job. They can't find a job. They've lost their homes and brought with them what they could. They charge their cell phones from generators, and if you think a cell phone is a luxury in these cases, it isn't. They hope to get a call back from a job they've applied for, and that cell phone may mean the difference between staying in a tent city or rebuilding their lives and working their way back into a real home. Ten cities aren't new, but they are growing. Washington has proven itself to be out of its depths in dealing with this crisis, and if you're waiting for the feds to fix this mess, you'll be waiting for a long time. America has something that is so uniquely ours, that incredible American spirit. We've overcome much worse hardships than the one we're facing now, and at the end of the day, it'll take you and me to put things back to on track in this country. There are different reasons for how we got here, but the one that has caused the most damage is the one that you and I have done, and it's up to us to fix it. What we need is an infusion of confidence. The same amount of dollars that have been printed are out there. The same amount of gold is still there. The same amount of silver is there. Nothing's changed except our confidence. Confidence in America. And that's the saddest part of all. That's what happened with the bank run in 1932 and caused the biggest part of the Great Depression was people lost confidence. All right, it's up to us. Don't wait on those idiots down in D.C. to fix it because they've shown themselves to be totally not up to the uh, task. This is America, and we are the greatest nation on earth. And all we really need to do to fix this is to remember that. 